What if time isn't real? Physicists studying the universe's deepest laws have found something strange. Time doesn't appear in the fundamental equations. Carlo Rovelli believes it's not a core part of reality, just a byproduct of how we perceive change. In this episode, we'll uncover why time might be an illusion, what it means for physics, and how it could change our understanding of the universe. When scientists look deep into the equations that describe reality, one thing is curiously missing, time. Carlo Rovelli, a leading theoretical physicist, co-developed loop quantum gravity, a theory aiming to unite quantum mechanics with general relativity. But loop quantum gravity doesn't rely on time as a built-in feature. In fact, one of its core equations, the Wheeler-DeWitt equation, omits time entirely. Rovelli proposes that we rethink the universe not as something moving through time, but as a structure built from events, individual happenings and relationships. There's no universal ticking clock, just a network of interactions. Take a storm, it isn't a solid object, but a sequence of weather changes. The same logic applies to everything, even the entire cosmos. What we label as before or after is simply our way of organizing these events into a sequence. According to Rovelli, time is not an ingredient of the universe, but a convenient structure we impose on it. This view reframes reality. Instead of things evolving in time, change itself becomes the foundation, and time, just our mental shortcut for making sense of it all. So, if time doesn't exist fundamentally, why do we experience it so vividly? Rovelli points to entropy, the measure of disorder. According to thermodynamics, entropy in a closed system tends to increase. We experience this as the arrow of time. But this arrow is not a property of time itself. It reflects our incomplete knowledge of the universe. Here's the core idea. If we had perfect knowledge of every particle's position and momentum, there would be no uncertainty and no need for time to make sense of change. Time, in this view, is a side effect of our limited perception. Rovelli calls this the thermal time hypothesis. It suggests that what we perceive as time's flow emerges from the statistical behavior of thermodynamic systems. In other words, time is not something out there it's something that appears when we can't see everything. This also fits within the quantum realm. There, uncertainty rules. When we observe something, we disturb it. That disturbance is one way we generate change. And from that, the illusion of sequence. Even Einstein, decades earlier, hinted at this in calling the distinction between past, present, and future a stubborn illusion. According to Rovelli, that illusion is useful, but not real. If time isn't fundamental, what does that mean for how we understand reality? First, it changes how we think about the cosmos itself. Traditional cosmology frames the Big Bang as the beginning of time. But if time emerges from entropy, then what we call the beginning is just the lowest entropy state in a timeless network of change. In quantum gravity, causality replaces chronology. It's no longer about what happens when, but what affects what. Time becomes local, relative, and even optional depending on the observer and the scale of observation. Rovelli's approach also reshapes how we understand presence and simultaneity. In relativity, two observers moving differently can disagree on what events are simultaneous. Rovelli goes further. There is no absolute now, only the events you're interacting with at your location. This has philosophical weight. Rovelli weaves insights from Heidegger, Buddhist philosophy, and cognitive science into his work. If time is an emergent phenomenon, not a cosmic law, then many aspects of existence we take for granted may be subjective constructions, not universal facts. The challenge now is experimental. Can we find empirical signs of this timeless framework? So far, loop quantum gravity has yet to be definitively tested. 
The thermal time hypothesis is compelling, but remains a theoretical construct. Still, Rovelli's framework opens up exciting questions. Can we simulate time emerging from entropy in a quantum computer? Can black hole physics help us understand how information and time behave at the edge of space? If time really is just a useful illusion, discovering how and when it appears may be one of the greatest breakthroughs in modern physics. This theory doesn't just bend time like Einstein did. It suggests time may not be part of the universe's source code at all. Instead of a ticking clock behind every moment, there may just be change, causality, and a limited observer trying to make sense of it. Time, in this view, is like a language, one we created to describe what we see, not what really is. And if that's true, then understanding the universe might mean letting go of the one thing we thought we could always count on, the passage of time.